Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy, or Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13. I'm running out of opportunities to make that mistake. I'm serious, JG. There is no future for this world. <clears throat> there is no more future for this world. The souls that have been saved will be led to the new world that Bunavels has created, but he only wants the pure, untainted souls that have survived the past 500 years. The soul song was to erase the memories of the living and consume the souls of the dead, so his new world would be populated only by the ideal humans. He deceived all of us, believers and heretics alike, but I am free from my pact now, and I can fight back. I can become the savior I wanted to be and lead Sarah and all of the dead, including Stud, to a world of second chances. Stud, being Noel, isn't actually dead. So I did a little off-screening um, just to get some EP back. Fought a couple of angelic guys. They are a pain in the butt, though, I will tell you. Oh, I, didn't, I don't know that I ever realized you could do these uh, close-ups and faraways. Um, I think I'm changing Knight of Etro to, um, just so I've got something with some real firepower behind it. I think I'm going to go ahead and, well, actually, Champagne, Gold, and Knight, let's see. ADP Giver by 10, Resistance to Status Elements. I wonder what Siren Strike actually is. Maybe we can find out. Physical damage also inflicts short-lived status ailments. Uh, well, I mean, it's really cheap. But it doesn't do very much. Yeah, it does no, no stagger and uh, not a lot of damage, so forget it. Um, we're going to go with Soldier of Peace. I forget what A was. Looks like A was probably deep protect. And uh, we'll replace this with heavy strike so that we can do Artemis arrows. Because I was finding in off screening trying to fight those angel guys, I really wasn't doing enough damage. So we'll fall back into the thing that we had before, where we didn't have enough, um... Triggers Bravery, Triggers Haste. We forget Bravery. What else could I do instead, though? An arrow for 60 seconds is actually probably pretty good. Because I don't know how long Bravery and Faith and stuff last. Vigilance and Veil. I don't remember what they do other than I think they prevent status ailments. And Vigilance makes you uninterruptible. Uh, maybe we'll go with an arrow. But anyway, I do want to continue uh, ahead a bit, because I just did a little bit to get uh, EPs back. And I will do some off-screening to get Omega versions of enemies, but I want to at least... Yeah, see, these guys are a massive pain in my butt. And... Um, so this makes me physically resistant. What I need, though, is to be... Uh, for them, I need... Because I have to switch. For these guys, I really need something that's magic resistant. For the other guys, physical resistance is much better. So I could go with uh, Breda Hood and uh, is it Pretty Orb? No. Runic Ring. Yeah. 
Yeah, they have all this... All these things that... Because you do not want to get hit with this uh, Wings of Judgment thing. Yeah, Artemis Arrows is the way to go here. I wasn't killing them fast enough. They have this thing they do periodically where they get all their hit points back. Artemis Arrows is definitely the way to go with those guys. Okay, way, way more confident now that I can deal with them. Um, I get him staggered, unfortunately. Gotta get him staggered. There we go. Yeah, Artemis Eros is the way to beat these guys. I really was. Off I'm, I'm making it look simple now, but off screen, I could not do damage before they would unstagger. I wasn't staggering them every time either, but the, what kept happening is they would unstagger and heal themselves. Whereas now they're fairly simple. Oh, that was Dagger here. Life is a journey. <sighs> You're so eager to die. You can't read me. Go. Yeah, use the magic can't touch me thing to survive that wings of judgment attack which is nasty if you uh, are not immune to magic and then uh, Artemis here is deep protect is good but not really mandatory I got the 25% he got stuck somewhere where he couldn't see me alright messed up there a little bit Yeah, but that Spirit Unleashed thing keeps uh, happening. Well, I don't even have to stagger him, really. Alright, so eventually they'll switch to the sets, and uh, they'll be a little bit more threatening unless I switch to physical, in which case, yeah, they're nothing. So it really becomes a, ma a matter of how patient am I with switching these things around. And it would be kind of nice if there was a... Uh, not that I use it in Neo 2, but Neo 2 does have a thing where you can just uh, switch back and forth between uh, two setups. Time to mix it up. So this would be a great way to get a little health back. Change course because I'm an admiral, you see. It makes sense. 
this. So these guys just become a way to, um... They just become a way to feed a little bit of, uh... Ah, I messed up. Got the wrong, uh... Wrong outfit on. So if I want to maintain perfect health... As far as I'm concerned, that's what these guys are for. Thing is pretty eager to die, I'd say. Happy slash level three. Yeah, so you, it's it's a level. It's a measure of your patience. Do you feel like dealing with switching? Oh, I can't even see what it is that I'm fighting now. It is an archangel guy. Is it? It is. So you can also, of course, set up so you have two different. Uh, Defensive uh, setups, one that's defensive against magic and one that's defensive against um, physical, but in one on one fights, those set creatures, you don't really have to switch, it's just, it makes it kind of unlosable. You're so eager to die. I won't stagger you this time. Let's see if this can get it done without a stagger. That's the problem, it kind of doesn't. It's really helpful to have them staggered when you go for those attacks. Okay. But we got there in the end. And we got elemental la 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 out of it. So for a new game plus playthrough, you can get tons of that spell um, from fighting those guys. They seem to be the main place to get it otherwise. Holy revelations. Holy revelations, Batman! I wonder what holy revelations would be. A book of holy revelations. I don't know. That's only you. I will try to avoid you because I don't feel like dealing with you. I will be fighting those guys off screen a lot to rebuild EP. I feel like. At some stage. In the meantime, having figured out a strat to beat those, uh. Feels like there's a plot ahead. It looks like when I enter that room, there's like a scripted battle. Peter? Hey, Peter. Try to lean, Peter, too.
There we go. This should finish him. Not even getting to use Deep Protect, which is fine. So I don't remember the details, but I know there. Someone beat me to the party. Oh. Beat me to the party. I did. I was pretty sure there are scripted battles that will show up with different enemies. So I was about to throw down a save so I could have um, anti-physical ready to go, thinking I was about to fight a bunch of sets. But it looks like no. This is plot where somebody else is in here murdering those set monsters. And by which I mean the monster of the type called Set, not. Ah, run away! I'll let whoever that was deal with the set monsters. I can't handle it. They're too scary. I'll fight the angel guys instead, who are significantly more dangerous. So it's kind of spooky uh, atmosphere here. Great. The dead are being summoned already. The dead are being summoned already. The Grateful Dead. Almost messed up there. I think I was in the wrong. Uh... I won't go easy on you. Tell you that you're yeah, there So he removed Deep Protect. I assume it's a, yeah, a, a Lady Angel. Um, still worked out okay. Yeah, I'm a lot more confident now. The last time when I sat down and goofed around with this game off screen. I had some real trouble with the angel enemies. I was trying to farm for EP between recording sessions and ended up just running away from them. Because there's no penalty for it now. You can't lose time. The final day is just... Ah, here we go. I've been wondering about this now. Now, we're going to encounter one of these... Uh, this is the last extinctable enemy in the game, as far as I know the uh, chimeras. So, I guess it looks like maybe we have a plot battle where Fang is going to be here. Yeah. Almost missed the party. Five pound party. So, it's resistant to fire, normal with ice. Absorbs wind. Oh crap, I've got wind. We've got wind, that's not good. Probably helps that we've got a uh, Fang here, but uh, Physical might be a thing against this guy rather than magic defense. on my part, but we got it done. Three EP? If you get that every time, I can uh, use heal after every single fight. And Fang joins us. Awesome.
Alright, well, let's try getting Kiraga going. Let's try switching all of these Aurora's. You don't have Aurora anyway. Let's try switching them to... Blizzara's. Since it doesn't like Blizzara, but seems like it's pretty okay with... Strength in numbers plus 15. Increase the damage up by 16% when facing three or more enemies. Okay. Well, let's back up and see what we missed in these other paths, but... I guess whatever dialogue was interrupted by us entering combat with Fang almost missed the party! We don't get to see it now. I messed that up forever. Oh, but man, if I was going to off-screen for... to get last ones, I'm really glad I unlocked Lightning first. She will... She will be handy to have around while just fighting jobbers. You know what? We probably can just, uh... I don't think I need to switch my full setup for this. Yeah. You're so eager to die. Yeah. Okay. I need to just keep magic defense going unless I eventually get rid of like all freaking uh, angel guys. But we got a samurai comb. Samurai comb. Featuring John Belushi. We got the Falcon Charm. The Samurai Comb increases strength and magic by 10%. Not bad. But I think Falcon Comb is... Or Falcon Thing is doing better because... I was like, wow, I'm getting to use... Um, Artemis Arrows a lot. And then I realized, oh, because I've got the freaking thing you get from killing the Super Boss that gives you crazy levels of uh, recovery. I just had the wrong freaking thing for that whole sequence. guys into extinction, but we haven't gotten to a point yet where we're fighting chimeras as regular enemies. If I can get to the encounter point for them, I've got the last several species that need to be made extinct are all hanging around. Um, that might affect some set battles. I'm not sure. Some plot, so let's, uh, I'll get a sip of drink while we do some plot. This ceremony that Vanille wants to carry out. How much do you know about it? I don't know much about anything, mate. Just what I told you before. It's supposed to bring all the souls of the dead into one place and then make them all disappear. Vanish, Vanito. The order says it's the only way to end their suffering. <sighs> but it's going to kill her. Yeah. Lie me. I mean, something uh, boy, else. I mean, they haven't told her what she's really capable of. She has the power to guide those souls to the new world. Ozzy, 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 oi, oi, oi! If she guides them, they can be reborn. They can? And they won't even be Australian the anymore. They'll have a better it. life. Those souls don't have to be destroyed. Yeah. And Vanil doesn't have to be sacrificed to do it. Yeah, that's what we just told you. <sighs> the soul song was never about bringing peace to the dead. It was about making things easier for the survivors. I shouldn't be defaulting to that outfit. Just because I'm using it doesn't mean I have to be souls, using it in the cinema scenes. Then the living would forget they ever existed. The Order wants to cut them away like a tumor. Then we'll be Cutting away tumors is often a good idea. I'll say love. that. <sighs> that was their plan from the beginning. They are the jerks. bosses want to pretend their sins never happened. So they can breathe easier. Blimey. 
And just for that, they're willing to kill Vanille. In the name of a lie! Killing in the name of... Sorry, I'm probably getting the words wrong there, but... Man, I didn't think I was triggering a big, long cinema. It's almost the end of a video. I should just let it go. Look at some uniquely dressed I'll people. Save them all. And I'll die. Oh, Vanille. You're an unteachable moron. I don't know why I'm using the Vanille voice to make people talk to Vanille, but... Okay, we're hacking dudes up here. Those lights. Are they the souls of the dead? Sure, They're whatever makes you happy. Are we already losing Fang? Maybe I should have just stopped where I was and did some off screening. I hope we're not about to lose Fang immediately. Don't stop me! Don't stop me now! I'm having such a good time. Eternal rest and repose. Uh -huh. The light of God shall rain down upon them. The light shall be His voice. His words become redemption. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The dead shall be released from their pain. The souls have been trapped in the caves. They've been suffering without any hope of being reborn. Yeah, it does suck, but they it's 500 years and it's about to be over. Like this. That's right. You can't forsake them, which is why you have to stop this. What? What? Could that mean? When we come back next time, we'll find out. When Spontaneous Nation returns. We have been listening to a lot of Spontaneous Nation recently. Uh, but yeah, but when we come back next time, we will continue this cinematic. And I'm hoping not immediately lose Fang. Because uh, I kind of was planning to use her in off-screening. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Bye-bye, folks.